Welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. And in this segment of Breaking Truckers, we're going to be looking at TikToker Unapologically Pretty. In this clip right here, he has some very, very strong opinions about the trucking company where he compares the trucking company to being in jail. Now, what do you guys think about that? Now, I know I talked to a few guys that's been incarcerated before and they have transitioned from being in jail to being in trucking. But there's a whole different, that line between the uh, jail mentality and the trucking mentality, different, bro. I'm going to have to tell you. I'm going to have to sit here and agree to disagree with you on your assessment of this whole thing. But you're entitled to your opinion as I am entitled to mine. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Yeah, what's going on? This is why black and brown drivers quit, period, in trucking. What? And they want us to quit, trust me, because it's... What? It's right, Nick. It's right. And you have good old boys from the deep south in rural areas or the deep midwest in rural areas, and we know how they think. They have a plantation mentality passed from generations of their fucking ancestors and they want to shit on us every time and try to treat us bad and put us in the old raggedy beat up truck or the truck that has bed bugs and roaches or whatever insects that the good old redneck you know lee dungaree wearing motherfucking um everybody wants to be like buddy lee mother everybody wants to be like buddy lee motherfucker got out the truck and left that bitch a disaster and this is why you see somalians and arabs working for each other. Do you ever see the foreigners with the good old boy redneck racist company? You don't and you won't. Have you ever been into a terminal and seen nothing but minorities running the place? You really nine times out of ten haven't. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? See how this industry is? It's bullshit. And it definitely ain't designed for us to get in and win. That's why they want to keep you on the company side and lowball you and pay you peanuts and it's not worth it nobody wants to deal with that shit the home time they don't put inverters anything to save them some money so i'm supposed to be in solitary confinement and this motherfucking work release program which i call this motherfucking truck because it's similar you just go outside work for a little bit lower the landing gear do your little go on the yard which the yard to be the motherfucking truck stop run around the bitch get your exercise then lock down lock it down you come back to your motherfucking two-man bunk cell and you go to sleep oh he needs some milk. Punk ass motherfucking hillbilly redneck ass. Good old boy. Punk ass motherfucking hillbilly redneck ass. Good old boy. Punk ass motherfucking hillbilly redneck ass. Good old boy. Driver managers, those are your correctional officers. So you have to report to your CO and you know they don't give a fuck. They're going to mistreat you and be like, shut up inmate. Yeah, you're an inmate because that number on the side of your truck is your DLC number or your gallery number. And that's how they really refer to you. What? And then I guess they get mad if you company hop and then they all want to get together and say, we need to stop the company hopping, right? Oh, somebody. Oh, he needs God. some milk. Yeah, what's good? What's going on? So I'm making this video like trucking is cool, but I'm done after. I want to say October 1st. I'm going to be real with y'all. I was only going to do it momentarily. There is no one else in this entire office that I could possibly ask to share such a horrible job. Because I have surgeries coming up in New York. And I'm going to go back for that. Because it's all about start what you finished, right? That's what you got to do. You just don't start something and don't finish it. So I said what I'm going to do. Set out. I had a little mental breakdown. And even if there was someone here who was here just one day longer than you, I still wouldn't ask that person to partake in such a miserable job as long as you were around. Because transitioning and trucking for me is hard. And now it's other trans I hear that like, oh, I'm trucking, I don't have a problem. Your situation's different. So, you know, people have different situations. Like you actually might have a house to go to. I couldn't think of a more horrible job if I wanted to. Your career might have already been solid and then you transitioned already. You know what I'm saying? You weren't already down there in disarray. 
My father was born in 43, and my mother was born in 1950. So what do you think? They're going to be cool with me transitioning? Hell no. Nah, they barely even want in my ass. If it's too short for me to keep trying to play like I'm straight, mess with women, and I like men, and live for him or my mother, neither one of them really respect me or give a fuck about me, and they use me. All right, so guys, what do you think? What do you guys think about that, man? I mean, he, <laughs> you know, I, I'm just going to go ahead and throw it out there. I, I assume that he's a new driver. He just came into the industry. You know, he's he's feeling some kind of way for him to come up with his strong opinion about uh, trucking. It's redneck, it's racist, and you have good old boys from the deep south. But listen, let me just tell you something right quick. I'm just going to have to agree to disagree with you, young man. And I'm, I'm about to tell you why. Because trucking and, and, and being incarcerated is way off the mark, my guy. Being incarcerated, you're told what to do 24-7. You're told what to do. You only go outside one hour. Shoot program, nigga. 23-hour lockdown. I'm the man up in this piece. You're told when to wash up. You're told when to eat. You're told when to, when to watch TV or whatever, whatever, whatever. Trucking, you're not. You're not. You get your dispatch and you follow, you, you follow protocol. But you can get out of the truck any time of the day. You can go and go to the bathroom any time of the day. You can watch TV any time of the day. You're free to do whatever you want. Key word here is free. Shoot program, nigga. 23 hour lockdown. I'm the man up in this piece. To do whatever you want. If you don't feel like being in the, being in the truck, go out there and get some air. I honestly think that you probably, something must have happened for you to come on TikTok to give your assessment of how you feel about trucking. Set out, I had a little mental breakdown because transitioning and trucking for me is hard. You probably was given that truck that had bed bugs in it. You probably was given an old truck that wasn't no good and you didn't know what to do. You didn't know who to call. You didn't know who to ask to, you know, get you a different truck. Trucking is not for you, young man. Set out. I had a little mental breakdown because transitioning and trucking for me is hard. A lot of truck drivers, you know, definitely leave your comments in the comments below. But a lot of truck drivers have made stitches and gave their opinions in the comments, though. There's there's a few commenters like this one right here says you're so far off the mark. It's unreal. I can understand you have some bad experience, but nothing to do with race. We all get this. And I agree. Race, racism in trucking, you know, there is a little bit of racism in trucking. That's why I keep my CB off. But me personally, I haven't experienced it. I haven't went into a place yet that that I had that I had experienced uh any racism. Because it's redneck, it's racist, and you have good old boys from the deep south. And as far as your other assessment before I get up out of here, your other assessment of, you know, minorities not being in, you know, not being in any type of trucking capacity, you're so far wrong off of that. I might agree with you on the mega carriers, but there are mom and pop carriers that are minority owned. They're black owned, women owned, Latino owned. And also there are now as far as the mega carriers go, yes, there there the the ratio between minorities and whites that's in the dispatching uh scene is, you know, the variance is high, but there are minorities in those rows. Dispatching rows, low planning rows. Uh so I, you know, again, like I said, I I'm just here to agree to disagree with you, okay? Um, another young lady here says, shaking my head, you need to find a different company because your experiencing isn't it. I've never heard this experience before. It is time 
to level up. Yes, yes, it is. It is time for you to level up. And in my opinion, I think it's time for you to level out. <laughs> level out, young man. Truck drivers, drivers, let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think? I mean, do you guys feel the way he feel? Do you feel like uh, he's right in his assessment? Let me know. Um, another comment here says, do your homework and get your own and stop complaining another commenter says black brown white we've been trucking since trucking been trucking where you are getting this information from after the young man made his now famous uh trucker comparison to uh racism video because it's redneck it's racist and you have good old boys from the deep south he came back he came back again in another video to clarify the fact that, you know, trucking and transitioning is hard. Set out, I had a little mental breakdown because transitioning and trucking for me is hard. So again, what you guys think? I mean, you know, with that uh, clip that he was talking about the comparison, a whole lot of you guys, a whole lot of you guys had some heavy opinions for this young man. I really, I really think that, you know, this young man probably couldn't hand, handle the isolation. You know, I don't think he could handle the isolation or anything of being the truck driver. And in his, in, in his defense, is, is, is not for everybody. It really isn't. Truck drivers, drivers, let me know in the comments below what you, what you think about them. Uh, if you're a transgender trucker, you know, let you know, let me know in the comments below. What's your experience? Do you feel what he say? Do you do you feel how he say? Do you agree with he say? If so, leave it in the comments below. But right. well, that's going to do it for this segment of Breaking Truckers on the Lockout Man podcast. Show.